Time for a little thing I'm calling 20 in 10. 10 minutes on the clock, 20 questions with Bobby Smirniotis as we do our Forge 2022 preview show. Bobby, great to see you. Uh, pick a number, my man, 1 to 20. Number 9. Number 9. Okay. First one is lighthearted. Build your perfect burger. Build my perfect burger. Well, it always starts with a perfect patty, you know, 100% yep. uh, chuck ground beef. Uh, Got to have a good bun, maybe a brioche bun. A little bit of uh, cheese, maybe we'll go with uh, with Swiss, and the rest is uh, depends how you're feeling. Some days you'll make it into a Greek burger with a little bit of tzatziki, or you'll stick with the mayo and the barbecue sauce. I knew we were going to hear from you about the Greek. I love it. All right, next number. Oh, well, we're going numbers here. We'll go with twelve. Number twelve. How would you describe your team's tactical identity? How you want to see it in 2022? Yeah, a little bit different than the uh, hamburger question there. <laughs> um, you know, just want to keep on building. You know, I think 2021 was uh, was a fantastic year uh, tactically with what uh, we were doing on the field. A very fluid team, uh, a team that can change uh, within the games and, and what we're doing. And I think we just want to be able to build on that. Um, organized chaos is what I like. Uh, and the chaos is the movement in the field, but there's always a reason for it. Um, whether that's something we want to impose on the opponent or it's something that the opponent is giving us and I want my players to be able to read it. So I think uh, organized chaos is the best way to put it. Fantastic. And nobody, I, don't, I think, was moving in different formations than you last season in the CPL and all the way to CONCACAF glory as well. Okay, another number between 1 and 20, please. Number 1. Number 1. One area from 2021 that you feel you needed to improve on heading into the off season. Yeah, I think uh, I usually hit on this uh, every season. It's uh, it's finding the easier goal sometimes. I think uh, we do a great job and we score a lot of goals and we've scored a lot of goals in 2021 and been very successful. But I think there's moments in the game where, uh, you know, we create a lot, we get into a lot of good positions. And maybe sometimes it's about just pushing the ball in the in the net. And uh, sometimes that's a personnel type of thing. You need uh, people in Sagi on the field who it'll hit them on the back of the head or something and it, and it goes in. Um, so I think that's what it is. I think we just need to be a little bit more lethal in that in that final third, and especially in and around the penalty area. Great answer. And certainly the addition of Terran Campbell will help with that as well in 2022. Okay, next number. Number three. Which player has really caught your eye during a bright preseason? Yeah, a few guys. You know, some guys that uh, I've known well and some, uh, I guess, that are new a little bit. Uh, Noah Jensen is a player that's uh, that's come into this preseason and he's been absolutely uh, excellent. He's a player I've known for many years through his days at Sigma and uh, – been following him in his uh, work with uh, Sigma's League One team, but also at Oakland University. So he was always a player um, that I had my eyes set on and, and knowing that he can come in here and contribute. And I think his preseason has been absolutely excellent. And a player that's a little bit uh, newer uh, to my eye is uh, Kwesi Boku, uh, young man, uh, 18 years old, who, you know, his first part of preseason was absolutely excellent. You know, he starts against the Cruz Azul, not because uh, somebody was missing, but because he had earned it. Um, so I think those are two guys that have been very good and just all around the groups have been excellent. Fantastic answers. And you mentioned Cruz Azul. It's almost met, led to two different preseasons for your team and more challenges that I know you continue to navigate. Think, okay, next number, please. Number 20. Number 20. Uh, thoughts on your Canadian Championship draw? Yeah, it's always an interesting one. You know, uh, it's uh, it's the beauty of the Canadian Championship, the beauty of... Uh, of domestic cups uh, it's being able to bring teams together from from different leagues from different levels um we've obviously got the outfit from uh, from plsq and uh, when that time comes uh, like with every opponent we uh, we pay as much attention to, to them as we will to every uh, challenge that we have in front of us you know it's a competition um that we went out of uh, not in the most favorable way in uh, in 2021 with our penalty uh shot uh lost to uh, to CF Montreal and we thought we were better on the day for that so it's a competition we want to be able to see how far we can go you know we've got a far uh, or we've got a difficult uh, bracket as we look at it but you know we're just uh, looking forward to to playing in these competitions in the, in a normal calendar this year and of course, a 2020 final to play as well for your team uh, right. in June against Toronto FC. That'll be a really exciting one for your team again as you go for more glory and more trophies. Okay, uh, we're almost halfway through. Doing well here. Moving forward, what's the next number, Bobby? Number two. Number two. What player that is new to your team are you excited to see on the pitch? I know you mentioned it early in preseason, but some new players that you're excited to see. Yeah, I think well, one of them is uh, is Taron Campbell. Taron's a, a player that... Uh, uh, we obviously know well. People in the league know well. Uh, he's had an excellent uh, uh, three years at uh, 
at Pacific, and I think he just gives us a different dimension in our attack, something a little bit different than the, than what we've had in the in the way our attackers have been a little bit more uh, more peripheral. This is a guy who's uh, who's clinical in the box and and takes half chances and puts them away. So. You know, we're looking forward to see, you know, how he's gelling in with the team and how at the start of the season he'll be doing. Start of the season again starts at Pacific in a rematch of the final. That'll be an exciting one. Join us live on One Soccer for that on April the 10th, uh, Sunday, April 10th, out on Vancouver Island. Next number, Bobby. Number 19. Number 19. Wheels or doors? Ooh, this has uh, become a very uh, popular uh, popular question uh, around. Uh, I'm going to go with wheels. Wheels. All right. There you go. That's a good one. Uh, next number. 18. 18. What is the best city in the world other than the one that you play in? Ooh. Interesting. You obviously have to go with places. You've been Athens, Greece. Athens, Greece. I knew that. What? What? Why is that so special to you? Obviously, a lot of connections. Yeah. Apart from uh, the connection uh, of myself and having lived there, I think it just uh, brings the beauty of many different things, of, uh, of culture, of, of history, uh, nothing blue beats uh, the blue Aegean as uh, you're driving along the coast. So it's a, it's a great place to sit back and have a nice coffee. That's for sure. Marvelous. Uh, we all wish we could go there one day, no doubt. Next next number, Bobby, please. Uh, 15. What show do you like to watch right now, if you're allowed to, to take your mind off football? What are you watching at home with the family? Interesting one. What are we watching these days? Uh, succession. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, I know you. I know you're a football nerd. You're watching football more than anything else. But good, good for this mini Otis household that you can yeah. switch your brain off a little bit. All right, a uh, couple more minutes with you. Uh, next number, please. All right, what do we got here? Number eight. Number eight. Who is your favorite footballer of all time, and why? Zinedine Zidane. Uh, that one came out pretty easy and pretty quick. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, Mozart on the field. Uh, Mozart on the field. He, he played and. Uh, it was uh, like watching the symphony. I don't know how else uh, how else to put it. You know, I was a teenager when he was probably in his prime in uh, in 1998 and, and winning that World Cup. And it was he was just a special player to watch, just not for goals and assists, just for how he played the game. Fantastic. I know the numbers are all over the place, so if you repeat yeah. one, you can, you're okay. But try another one for me. We're gonna go with 14. 14. Uh, what's your favorite sport other than soccer, Bobby? Basketball. Is they there a go. lot of parallels for you to to be able to watch that game with space and thing? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, it's a lot of things, especially on the on the defensive side of things, with man marking, zonal marking, different things like that, and just being a massive basketball fan, not only in North America but in Euro League and the, in Europe, in Europe, where it's two contrasting styles, and that's I think what's the most uh, intriguing thing about it. You know, it's uh, similar to soccer. I think it's the second biggest uh, global game, so there's always going to be different ways of doing things. Go to get yourself to a Raptors game every now and again, Bobby. Been some years, uh, but definitely follow the follow them. Watch a lot of the uh, West Coast teams late at night when uh, I can't get some sleep. So it's uh, you get a lot of different contrasting styles, also from the East and the West in the NBA. That's right. All right, final minute here. Give me another one. All right, what do we have? Sixteen. Sixteen. How would you describe your new primary kit? A little bit of a different orange in there. You enjoying the look? Yeah, you know, we're, I'm uh, a big fan of the full orange, top to bottom. Uh, you know. Having uh, learned a lot from uh, the Oranje and the Dutch, you know, it's not a bad color uh, to have on and to, to try and play the style of football we're playing. Total football in Hamilton coming in 2022. We actually have another time for one more quick one if you want to throw another number out. Yeah, six. Six. What excites you the most about your team in 2022? What a great way to finish. Yeah, uh, energy. Mix of uh, experience and youth. Uh, and I think that's the, the biggest thing we're looking for. Uh, bar, apart from the football, I think the energy that we're going to bring to the field. Fantastic answers. This has been 20 in 10 with Forge FC head, head coach Bobby Smiriotis. Uh, a remarkable year in 2021, Bobby, but I know 2022 is going to be fantastic for you as well. Uh, in contention for so many trophies. Again, all the best to you and your team, and we'll see you out there on the pitch, and we'll see you out there on the island on April 10th. Thank you very much, Christian.